first video. Hey ho, it's me, 19, and welcome to my very first video on YouTube. Big round of applause, big applause. And today, we'll be opening up and celebrating our first video with one of my most cherished and most loved game of all, possibly all time. And that is Magic the Gathering. Oh, yeah. So, just to give you a, so, a small a small backstory. I've been playing Magic the Gathering since I was, I think, year three. So now I was like 14 or 13 years old. Basically, I was introduced to the game by one of my friends. If I recall correctly, he brought a small shoebox to school one day. And he was like, dude, dude, dude. You gotta see this. And I, I was like, what? What's, what? What's with the shoebox, dude? No, no, these are cards. What kind of cards? Magic cards, my dude. And we were all like, what the heck is magic? <laughs> so we expected it to be just like Yu-Gi-Oh or some like Pokemon. But then when he opened it, it felt extremely different. Almost mystical of some sort. Since then, I never stopped playing. Well, that's a lie. I stopped playing because of cards. But then that's the, besides the point. Now, because I finally have time to play such one of the most wondrous games ever to be created. Here we are. And today, we're going to kick things off with one of my favorite decks. I say it with a question mark because I think it's one of the most powerful decks of the format right now. And I think people think it's overpowered. And that is... Bant Ramp. So Bant Ramp, what does it do? What is Bant Ramp's goal? What is what is the mindset of a Bant Ramp player? Basically, Bant Ramp revolves around one of the newest cards in M21, and that is Joel Rail One Vuli Recluse. So Joel Rail, as it is a legendary creature for two, it is a human druid, and whenever you draw your second card each turn you create a 2-2 green cat creature token. So this line of text is very, has become really potent over the past few weeks, ever since M21 was released. Because um, in Bant Ramp, we have a, a ton of cards that let us gain some card advantage. In other words, get, draw that second card. So we have cards like the Fairy Time Raveler with a minus three. We have Oro when we cycle with Oro. We have Hydroid Crisis, we have Growth Spiral, we have the, the new Teferi, Master of Time. So we have many options to deal damage to our opponent and win the game. And that's not our only win condition. It's just one of our win conditions in this deck. So another win condition is of obviously Nissa, who shakes the world with her plus one, where it says, put three plus one plus one counters on up to one target non-creature to land con you control. Untap it, it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with vigilance and haste that's still a land. So with a ramp deck, this is very potent, especially when we have our Hydrate Crisis friend here, making our Hydrate Crisis huge in the long run. And then we just have powerful Planeswalkers such as the Fairy Master of Time where we loot? Is it loot? I think it's loot. Someone correct me, please. I think it is loot. I, I kind of forgot my magic jargon. I'm so sorry. And we also have our Uros once we escape it because usually with these kinds of decks, we tend to dump so many cards into the graveyard that we use the graveyard as a resource in order to create a 6-6 six -six like Uro. And yeah, that's basically the deck where we just stall out some games and look for Nissas through card advantage. We look for our Joel Rails. And then actually, one of the best things about this deck is when we get our Joel Rail. And you know, this is a, like a wet dream or a utopian kind of dream. Where we, where we pay six and which says until end of turn, creatures you control have base power and toughness X, X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. We're a deck that draws cards, which means our hand is usually full unless we're against like aggro decks. So once we have a bunch of tokens or even like a hydroid crisis on the battlefield, they become, for example, we have like five cards in hand. They become five fives. Like for example, if we have three, tokens and we have one Joel Rail, that means we have 20 uh, total power in the battlefield. We have our mana base, of course, very fairly simple. We have obviously the Painlands. The Painlands are strong. They play, it's being played in modern. You know how strong it is, my dudes. We even have played the Triumphs in this deck. So we played two Ketria Triumphs where this land is kind of utility based because of its cycling ability. 
So which means if we have it in hand and we have a Joel Rill in the battlefield, we can use it to draw our second card and then create a 2-2 token. Now the Blast Stone here is fairly interesting because I've played a bunch of games with this deck uh, before recording and I don't really find Blast Zone that effective. But maybe it'll prove me wrong. Maybe it'll prove me wrong. You never know, you never know. Let's move on to the sideboard here. What do we got? So obviously with this deck, we struggle with aggro. So it's either mono black aggro, mono red aggro, Hope to God we don't play against Mono Aggro because, whoa, that is a pain in the butt. So with that, our sideboard is composed of mostly um, tools to battle through those. So we have, for example, uh, three copies of Glass Casket where we can just shoot out and exile some of their small creatures, which is also good against Mono Green. We have another Jewel Rail just to, for those grindy control matchups because usually when control goes against control, they sideboard out their um, removal and even their sweepers. So having a, a, a third Joel Rail, for, as a matter of fact, is good leverage for the deck against control. We even have one Dovin's Veto and we also have a Brazen Borrower. So having a Brazen Borrower which allows us to attack for three while also bouncing a permanent such as, for example, their Reclamations is nifty. Mystical Disputes also for the same matchup and even for some like white blue matchups or some control matchups which comes in handy most of the time we have another shy of the sky just for those aggro matchups that we have difficult times uh going against we even have an elder gargaroth which is as a matter of fact one of my favorite cards in the new set so elder gargaroth is a 6-6 six -six that deals with aggro swimmingly so it cre it can either create a 3-3 three -three, green beast creature token or you can gain three life or you can draw a card so it's card advantage that can be used for jewel rail and then we have shark typhoons also for the control matchups and it's nice to have like a huge shark once we have nissa out in the battlefield and we have heliod's intervention now this card i was really skeptical about but then i've noticed that mono green stompy decks are now playing almost all copies of stone coil serpents and in this deck we don't really have uh ways to deal with that like teferi can't bounce it aether gust can't bounce it teferi of master of time is really bad against it so having a Helios intervention mostly for those matchups and even like the john sacrifice decks but enough with my blabbering i think it's time for us to get into some games and play it in some rank what did i do Oh yeah, I applied to some styles. Let's get into some rank games, my dudes. And I'll see you in round one. Wabam! Okay. <laughs> round one is undergoing and we're against Rakdos cast. Oh boy. I wonder what deck we're gonna be against. So I guess we get to choose whether we play first or not. Obviously, we're gonna play first. Now, we've been dealt a hand. Well, we have two Teferis in the hand and one Aether Gust and four lands. Is this a keep? If we're against a Rakdos deck, this is basically a six hand, six card hand. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. It's pretty bad against aggro. And I think our opponent, oh, we're gonna mulligan. We're, nothing happened. Nothing happened. This is much better. Yes, I like this. Although we don't have a green source, eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna ship one Uro and one Growth Spiral. I think I think that's the play. And round one begins with a Temple of Enlightenment. I am enlightened by this fabled passage. Yes, we finally found our third land, our green source, as a matter of fact. All right, Rakdos Cast plays a swamp, <laughs> just like we guessed. Well, we didn't. Maybe it's Mono Black. Maybe it's Mono Black. I'm just gonna sacrifice the Fabled Passage. Okay, we have options here, we have options. So it's either we play an Uro, a Growth Spiral, or Teferi. Now, our opponent hasn't played anything in turn two, so which could mean that it's mono black control, or he just doesn't have a one drop or a two drop, which I highly doubt, cause he kept a seven hand a second a seven card hand so i think the play here is 
Teferi. I think it is. Uh, am I, I might be wrong. Nah, let's play Uro. Nah, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you were gonna write in the comments, weren't you? Weren't you? I'm watching you. Oh yeah. Whoop! Add a hollowed fountain and let go. Pass letter. So I played this deck like for a good hour. What the heck? And see, <laughs> this is why we have Mr. Teferi here. That way we can bounce the Rotting Regisaur and not take 7 to the face. Nice, nice, yes. And we even drew the Elspeth Conqueror's Death for the Registor. Wow, I'm such a good player. Yes, yes I am. I'm proud. So Rakdos cast. What is your next move? Plays the Rotting Regisaur once again. Okay, if we don't draw land here, we are screwed. Uh, it's not, it's not land. But, uh, I mean, we can minus three it. We can, mi we can, we can, eh, not that bad. There's the land. I think we ditched the growth spiral here. Because we don't need it anymore. And play the Temple of Plenty. Yes! Yes! More land! I'm top decking like a pro. -oh. So, yeah. Let's let this resolve. Yep. Discard a Swamp. I would expect him to discard the 3-1 equipment as well. Later on in the game. But maybe he has one in hand. We can play it. So, whatever he chooses here, I think we're going to have to minus 3 it. If he has the... 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 The three, the, what the heck is the name of the card? This, this is the name of the card. Yes, that. He passes, so he's gonna attack, huh? Gonna attack. Come on, come on. Okay, he swings everything at the fairy. So I think next turn, do we minus three or plus one? Hmm. I think next turn, if he doesn't play anything, which I highly doubt, we're going to have to play Elspeth Conqueror's Death on the Rotting Regisaur. So I don't want to minus 3 the Rotting Regisaur. So I think our play here is to plus the Teferi Master of Time. And then I think we ditch the land. All our other cards are pretty valuable as of the moment. And this is the least valuable I'm in our hand, so I think we touched the I think we touched the land. Right, right? This is a magic player at work. Rakdos cast, my dude! My dude! What is your play? Are you gonna play another Paragon? Or are you gonna play a bunch of one ones? Yellow. 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 Eliminate in the main deck. Whoa, I guess this guy's been dealing with a bunch of bant ramps. I don't understand. I think we're in a pickle here. We need our sweepers. We need the juicy sweeper. So what's our play here? We can Nissa but and make a 3-3. Three, three. But I think the play here is Atlas Conquers Death. It exiles the Rotting Regisaur. And our opponent next turn, if he has nothing to play, which I highly doubt, only has, what is it? Is it 7 power on the board? Yeah, 7 power. 7 power is way less than 14. <laughs> so I think I'm going to play the Elspeth Conquer's Death. And zoop. Exile. Rotten Regisaur. Rot in exile. Wow. Okay, back to Mr. Rakdos Cast here. Plays a fifth swamp. Whoa, look at these swamps. Whoa, it's a dead dinosaur. It's from my oh, they're from Akoria. That makes sense. Oh, we really, now we really need, we really need a sweeper. I think we play this. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. We need to, we need to gain some life and have a body on board. Uh, what's missing? This one. I love the sound of escape triggers. 
Whoa. Can we play this? Yeah, let's play it. I want to I wanna cast Growth Spiral. I might be the wrong play because we're at 12 and our, our opponent's on an aggro deck. But I want to cast a Growth Spiral. And the turn. I could just play the Hydra Crisis for not for nothing. And like assert my dominance against the Rakdos cast. Mr. Rakdos cast here. So what are you gonna do, Mr. Rakdos cast? What are you gonna do? You got a hefty board here. Sir or ma or ma'am. I keep calling you sir. You could be a you could be a ma'am. You could be a ma'am. Oh, there ah, that's the name. I guess we have to let it resolve. Yeah. Boy, we are in a pickle. Pass turn. Oh, pass. Ow. Oh. Oh. Out too. Yes. Oh, we do not want to pass the turn. We want to play Growth Spiral. Ooh, yes. Gotta play an island. See? Oh, a dead card. We, we hate to see it. We hate to see it. I think we have to swing with Uro here. So that we can draw. No, that's not it. That is not a shattered sky. Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Are you gonna? I think this is our last chance here. Everybody, hold on to your seats. Are we gonna top? Um, buzz. Are we gonna top deck it? I want to keep this one because I don't want to sacrifice it. Yes, we gained three life. No, we didn't do it, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't do it. On to the next <laughs> game. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. First game. First game. We're now 0 1. It's fine. We just have to sideboard well against a mono black aggro deck. Get this out of here. Useless. Useless. And we bring glass caskets here. We bring our shared sky. Of course, we're gonna bring Mr. Gargaroth here. And huh, what else shall we put in? Hmm. I'm completely blanking. I think, and then we remove a Teferi. Hmm. Because it's our worst card in the matchup. And I think Nissa. Because in our hand, well, Nissa was in our hand for until the end of that game, and it didn't do anything. Huh. Yeah, I think we have to remove Nissa. I think that is the play. Oh, not all of it though. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Look, it look good. It look good. I think it look good. I think I think it look good. I think it look good. I think I'm gonna add these. Just in case you have stone coils. And we get into game number two. Of course, I'd, I'd love to. Thank you, game. Thank you. I'd love to go first. First? First. Um, I think we have to keep this. It's a good, it's a good curve. I think we have to keep this. And game number two goes underway. Yes, sir. And we play a breeding pool in turn one. And pass the turn to Mr. or Miss or Mrs. Rakdos cast. And plays Duress. Wow, that is cool artwork. Who's the one who made it? Lawrence Nelly. That's cool artwork, my dude. Some M19. I wasn't playing uh, MTG Arena during that time. And we play a Temple Garden tapped. The most boring turn two. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, my problem with band rap because sometimes you have these kinds of oh i was gonna say we we have these kinds of uh hands where you do nothing for the first two turns i think the play here is the uro yeah i think that's the play because next turn he probably has a third land uh spade spade but he probably has a third land and then he's gonna uh, proc spectacle and he's gonna play the spawn of mayhem watch 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 this i just predicted it he's gonna play a third land and then he's gonna attack in for two which is fine i'm at 23 it's like, it's like hitting me with a spoon it's fine and then he's gonna play a mayhem devil a mayhem devil a mayhem devil spawn oh rotten register damn <laughs> i was wrong 
I think I'm gonna sack the Fable Passage here just to thin out the deck a little bit by one land. I know some people think it doesn't do anything most of the time, but you know, just in case. Uh-oh. This is bad. I think we're going to have to de delay this Rotting Register for a turn by minusing Teferi. And, yep, back to the hand. Ooh, I should have played the Fabled Passage first to thin the deck. Noob move. Noob move. Don't do what I just did. Don't do that. And I think we're going to get a um, island. Yes. And we just pass the turn. Well, the rush. Well, we're a healthy 21. Facing against these serrated scorpions. We're no harm yet. We're far from worrying about that. Let's play with his dog for a while. So I bought the... What is it called? It's like a... It's almost like a... I forgot what it's called. It's like a battle pass or something. And I got these dogs. Because I kept living out. Oh, little the dogs. Oh, that's so cute. The German Shepherd. Bro. <laughs> I have a dog. Uh, these are so cute, dude. I freaking love dogs. A sword and he throws it. Oh, that's so cute. He wields a sword. I didn't see it. I thought he just magically gets it out of his butt or something. Ow. Oh, there's the rotten Regisaur once again. Plays a serrated scorpion once again. And passes it. Let's play this growth spiral. Ooh. I want the breeding pool. Because I like green blue over green white. Uh-oh. This is problem. This is big problem. I think we're going to play Joel Well. Actually, I lied. It's not big problem. We can just escape the arrow. Boom, bam, bam. Bing, boom. Ready? It's gonna do the sound again. Three, two, one. Like Woo! Yes. Exhilarating. Yep. Ooh, that's a good card to have against this dude. What's your next move, Mr. Miss Mrs. Rakdos cast? RC? RC could also be RC, could be his real name. Well, of course, we're gonna blow. I'm just playing with Doom. Ooh, yeah, we're just playing with Doom. I'm block with this. I'm blocking him with the two two because we can just play Glass Casket next turn and then exile it. I highly doubt he has anything in hand. Yup. <laughs> nice. So what's the play here? Hmm. Let me go into the the tank. Okay, I'm out of the tank. We're gonna play the glass casket. Are we gonna tap the correct mana? Yep, that's correct. We're gonna exile the rotting register. It's gonna start rotting in exile. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna Do we swing with Joel Rail? Nah. We just swing with Uro, right? With our best friend Uro in the matchup. Uro's our best friend in the matchup, to be honest. Cause it gains his life whenever it attacks. Ooh, do we? I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at twenty. I'm at twenty-six. Whoa! I didn't even expect that. I was not checking my life total. Next, see, we get a two-two once again, because of the interaction between Uro and Joel Rail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next. Oh, he takes a six. Whoa. And you know what? I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play Mr. Crasis here for four and draw two. Like I should. Wow. We're just gas in our hands, dudes. Whoa. And I feel bad for Rakdos cast here. He only has one twos. He only has one twos. He pro he's probably gonna trigger the castle lock twain. I just played the dogs. <laughs> Oh, so cute. It's like an ethereal ghost dog. <laughs> maybe he knows Garok. Oh, maybe he's Garok's dog. Oh, But then Garok isn't bad anymore, isn't he? 
Like, the curse was lifted from him? I don't remember how. I have to catch up with lore, my dudes. And this guy. The Igneous Cur. Ha! Remember the card. Of Chandra. No, I'm not. It's not. Uh, uh, let's say it's Chandra's dog. Because it's flaming. It's flaming. Flame on. Flameo. Flameo Hotman. <laughs> See what I did there? Flameo Hotman. <laughs> Ooh, top decks a Noxious Grasp to kill our Uros. Oh no, whatever will we do? Let's play this Gargaroth. <laughs> We're just bullying an opponent now. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Rakdos Cast. I'm sorry. It's just that you're scorpions against a freaking jellyfish hydra, hydra beast. And the uh, beast and human with and the uh, cat it kind of fell off skidoosh let's swing in with the bow boys and girls we want to maximize our uh, mana <laughs> gain three up to 29 and trigger troll rail beautiful and then we shower the sky the next turn nice nice <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Raptor's cast. What do you got? And all of a sudden, Liana. <laughs> no way was he gonna have Liliana. Right? Right, my dude? Yeah. So game two goes to us. We win game two. Woo! Woo didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> didn't even think we'd lose that. Okay, do we, do we want to change anything in our deck? Is there anything we want to consider? We're not in the play anymore. We're in the draw. Do we want Shark Typhoon? It is another body. Eh, nah, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. So on to our last game. Each player has one win. Each player has one loss. Who will be the victor? And this is our opening hand. We don't have any removal, but we do have a fine curve. We have three lands. We have a turn two play. We have a turn three play that can trigger a turn two play. Huh, I'm gonna keep that. Unless our opponent has the nuts. Oh, yeah, you only can take the fairy. <laughs> we have another way to trigger Jorel. Dude, Jorel is freaking insane, dude, in this deck. It's so much value in one. Well, not so much. It's so much. It's so much value in one card. Whoa. Explosive, huh? My dude's being explosive. Well, huh? Oh, uh, get in there, drill rail. Mm, yeah, yeah. You go, girl. Mm. 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 So rock this cast. What do you got? What do you got for me, my dude, or my dudette? What is your turn three play? Maybe now he's gonna do what I was trying to predict last game. Maybe he attacks in, triggers Spectacle, and then plays the Spawn of Mayhem. Plays the third land. Okay, that's one. Nope. Freaking Noxious Grass. How obnoxious. I think we are in trouble here, my dudes. Let's play this Uro, gain some life, and draw a card. Hopefully we draw... Not the card we wanted. All right. Let's play this Fabled Passage. We want to get rid of the things that he knows that are in our hand first. That way we can, like, you know. Just, you know. Where was I going with this? I lost trail of thought. Oh, well. <laughs> so he's going to play a fourth land. Probably. And play the Throne of Eldrain for to cast 3-3. Three, three. I'm really bad with these with naming these cards, dude. <laughs> Let's play with the dog. <laughs> if I don't stop, fine. Wait, wait, what, what? I like this dog. It's a German Shepherd with armor. Oh, so cute. Hi. Yay. Yep. Yep, take three.
Oh, it's Mr. Rotting Reggie Sour. Mr. Reggie's. Any Mr. Reggie's there in the house? High five. No, too slow. What did I do? Whoa. Uh -oh. Okay, we're gonna sack the fabled passage, which I should have done last turn in order to thin the deck. Let's get, let's get, let's get. Uh, what are we missing? We have uh, four sources of green. One source. I think we're gonna get an island. Yeah. And play this Teferi Master of Tian. At least we can uh, delay the seven damage for a turn. Unless we draw our sweeper. No, we didn't draw our sweeper. Oof. Big oof. Yep. Play the Fabled Passage. And maybe I should have kept the Temple of Plenty. Just so that I could scry. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. We can top tick like a pro. Top tick like a pro. We can top tick like a pro. We can top tick it. We can even have a, some sources of a draw here. In order to dig through our deck to find the sweeper. So I'm not that worried as of now. Whoa. -oh. oh, he did it. He discarded it. Whoa. This card's insane. I was looking at the spoilers back in the back in like a month ago. And I was like, oh, kind of on the fence about this deck, about this card. Didn't know where it would go. I was like, will it work in Kulgari? Will it work in like Abzan? Will it work in like a Jund deck? Jund aggro deck? Or maybe like the Rakdos deck? Turns out, best deck, best shell for it is Mono Black. Who knew? <laughs> Not me. I was too stupid to see. <laughs> too ignorant to see. Wow, this can He's really in the tank. Mr. Rack Mr. Miss Mrs. Rakdos cast here. Oh, whoa. Yep, I think we're gonna have to The problem with phasing the rotting register out is that if we do draw our sweeper, we won't kill it. But I think I'd rather do that. Than die. I would rather I I'd rather uh, I'd rather not die. I'd rather not take the seven. <laughs> Do not forget, okay, he plays Soul Guide Lantern. Okay, that means he gets rid of our Uro here. Bye, good friend. You've done your part. No! And the end. My turn. Okay, let's not forget to sack the Fabled Passage before we draw. And what land do we get? What land do I want to get? So what? how many sources do we have? One, two, for white. Let's go planes. No, even it out. No, we did not draw it once again. Uh oh. I think our play here is hide Mr. Hydrid Crisis here for four so that we could draw two and gain two. It's our best play. I mean, we can play the Temple of Plenty. No. Oh, we can buy time. We have a two two and a one two so that we could block the Registrar. But he's gonna use, he's gonna discard a card and play Demonic Embrace. Oh, oh, that's bad. Did not play around that. Did not play around that. Man, our our opponent just top decked like a pro. Whoa. I think it's the fox. It's the fox. It's the fox that's giving him luck. Or her luck. What is this thing? Is this like a bile? Uh, I don't want to know what's inside. Maybe it's juice that gives him luck. Why don't you give me luck, dog? I'm going to name this dog. That's a good name for the dog. Hmm. Ah, I want to name the dog. I want to name all the dogs. Well, first, let's name this dog. So, my dudes, if you guys want to name the dog, put it in the comments. Down in the comments. Let's give let's give a name for a dog here, so we're not lonely and getting beaten up by mono black aggro. Ha! I don't have a non-creature, non-land, permanent, a uh, card. Win! I won! I won that trade. 
<laughs> oh. So we can play a Temple of Plenty. Okay. So yeah, watch this, watch this. Big brain time, big brain time. Ooh, do we not? Do we want that? We do not want that, because there's no artifacts here except for this. But we don't really care about this. We want sweepers. Let's play a jewel rail. Yes. Do we have two blue? Yep, we do. And then we play at the fairy master of time. Big brain. That way we can plus one and draw a card, and then get the proc off of jewel rail. Big brain magic player right here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See, even Rakdos cast here knows. Nice. Yeah, thanks. Well, how do I say thanks here? No, there's no thanks. I think it was too late. Uh, Blast Zone has some value here. So I think we're going to ditch the forest. There's a proc. Yup. Yep, nothing to discard. So whatever he demonic embraces, we're gonna minus three it. That way, it doesn't go uh, get attached to the creature, and I think it goes to the graveyard. Am I right? Am I wrong? I think yeah, I think I'm right. This is one dragon game. For someone that for. Our first game against aggro. This is really taking a long time. How long has it been? Whoa. Pretty long. We only have 30 minutes. 13 minutes left. Let's play the dog. Oh, I really want to know the name. I, I was thinking like, huh, since he has a sword, like, I don't know. Excalibur. Something like that. Or Arthur. Not Arthas. No. Bad guy. He's a bad guy. This guy's not a bad guy. Oh, that's good. Our dog. Oh, he passes the turn, huh? Passing the turn, eh? Well then. All right. It's all coming together. <laughs> Kronk is bestowing me so much power. Yeah, I, huh. So I think we're just gonna block the rotting register with the two two, block the jewel rail with, you block the serrated scorpion with the jewel rail, and then let the gutter bones p go, uh, in because we just want to draw a sweeper. Yeah, yeah. We're thinking like a magic player now, my dudes. Uh, uh what's better, blast zone or Nissa? I think it's blast zone because it gets rid of the one ones, the the one to cast. Yep, we get rid of Nessa. Whoa, I'm like whoa. I don't want to get rid of the Uro because it's card advantage. I mean, it draws us cards, you know, some, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not too worried about Joriel dying here, unless he drew another freaking. Noxious grasp or an eliminate. Oh, it's spawn. There's a spawn of ma'am. All right. Okay. This is where we draw our sweeper. Let's play the blast zone. Draw to discard. No, we did not. Uh oh. We're in a pickle here. This is our last, uh, uh, yeah. Uro. Last chance to draw one. I mean, we're not dead yet. Oh, we did not draw it. That's sad. Crap. <laughs> no. We're so close. Ha! We can play this. Yes. We're still alive. Bam, 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 bam. Our opponent forgot to trigger to activate her his or her soul guide lantern. Oh no. 
You can't. I'm casting it. Yeah. You forgot. Whew. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good card to draw. Wow. Nice. No, I could have have drawn it any better. Nice. Now we can get rid of the freaking rotting Regisaur. Rot in exile. Nice. Thank you. He gets it. Raxus Cast gets it. Okay, he's at 20 and I'm at 8. It's anyone's game. It's still anyone's game. Whoa! Whoa! We won! We won the first game! We won the first game! We won the first game! And we freaking racked up! We're diamond tier 3, baby! Ah, nice. I thought we were gonna lose there. But then, I guess that sequence of events just brought us back. Drawing the glass casket was, I think, the thing that triggered him to uh, concede. Because, oh yeah, he's gonna play the demonic embrace into one of his 1-1s. One but then I could just kill it later on with the blast zone. Or I could just minus 3. And then later on, it just snowballs from there. But yeah! We freaking... I didn't even know... I, I didn't even realize we were gonna promote. Nice! Alright. Game 1. Done. We won. And I guess we're gonna get into game 2 now. Okay? See you then!